Hi, and welcome back. I decided to revisit my tram antenna. Um, I've always had trouble with it, especially in the winter with temperature changes. The SWR appears to change quite a bit. I've never really figured it out. I haven't found any shorts in the antenna. Um, but now that it's summer, I decided to put it back up now that it's warm. Um, it appears to work better when it's warm and not a lot of moisture. Uh, though today it looks like we're going to get thunderstorms, so we'll see if that does anything to it. But um, I took it down last time not because of the SWR so much as I was getting reports of severe distortion on my uh, transmitting. So I was thinking that it could be because the antenna was pretty close to my radio before. So I moved it farther away from my shack and it's probably now about 50 feet away and I was also able to get it higher up uh, probably about it's probably about 20 feet at least up in the air now. Um, what I did is I mounted it to the side of my st storage that I built and I have it attached to a painter's pole where you attach a roller to paint ceilings. So I was able to get it up pretty high. So uh, let's go outside and take a look and I'll show you what I did. Here we have my storage shed I built. And as you look up, you can see where I have attached the antenna to the building. And I'd say it's probably a good 20 feet up in the air. And as you can see what I did here, I took some two by fours, cut them up and cut a hole through uh, both the base and the guide here. And I cut it about the almost the exact diameter as the, the width of the pole. And you can see where I fed it through here and ran the antenna line. I attached the antenna to 100 feet of coax. If I remember right, the tram antenna stated that, I believe it stated you needed at least I think it was between 50 and 75 feet of antenna wire, but uh, to get it out there through my window and away from my shack to try to get rid of the feedback, I had to use 100 feet of coax. So I'm probably going to have a little bit of loss, but um, we'll see how it works when Skip starts rolling in. Let's take a look at my SWR. Here we are on channel one. Okay, we have it calibrated. And as you can see, the SWR barely moves, maybe one. And if we go to channel 40, let's try it again. And 40, we're running about, looks about 1.2. Uh, maybe 1.3, but I think it's closer to 1.2 on the SWR. So there you have it. Uh, SWR is good. I did a somewhat informal radio check. I took my um, old handheld CB. I gave it to my son in his bedroom on the other end of the house. And we talked to each other. He said I was clear, no distortion. So we'll see what happens um, when the skip starts rolling in again. I'll, I'll give it a try and see what kind of reports I get. But um, the nice thing about where I located the antenna, um, I'll probably move away eventually from the Tram 1499. Um, it's not the best antenna, but um, I like the location where I have it. And I should be able to mount another antenna there um, and maybe attach it to the pole to get it up higher. We'll see. But uh, I'm happy for now. I still have my dipole, which works great for skip. But um, I think it's pretty directional the way it's pointed. So um, we'll experiment. We'll switch between the two and um, see what happens if we can pick up 
different locations as I think the Tram 1499 is more uh, omnidirectional. So we'll see, but there you have it. Um, and we'll see what happens. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.